right, I'm going to teach you guys how to make this epic sky replacement and putting those stars back there. I did this in the Waters Creek video that I did, if you saw that. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's awesome. All right, first thing you want to do is create a speed ramp. So hit Shift B at the point that you want it at. And for this clip, I kind of just chose a spot that I knew it'd start, that the music would cue with it. And then I scrolled right over and I picked a spot like right about there and I did ended my speed ramp. I think I boosted it up around to times 20. So I had to reverse my clip for this just because the drone shot that I was doing. Um, I ended the speed ramp right when the basically it came up to the sky. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate your clip. So you take it and put it on top of your clip because you're going to layer these. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to find the keyer in the effects panel. And once you get that, you're going to put it on top of your top clip. Then we're going to move over to, after you have the keyer effect, you're going to want to sample color and put it over the top spot, spot in the clouds right up there. You want this as black as possible, that top part up there. As for this next part, you need to download a space. That's all I just did was I typed this in in Google Images, typed in a space background. So. And you can pretty much use any space background or whatever you want for this. Um, so I got mine from Google Images. Take this, bring it right down, layer it right between your two clips. And you need to line it up right where the speed ramp hits. Okay, so our next goal is to blend that space piece and the forest together. So go up to your top clip. You're going to lower the strength on the left, all the way to the left. Then you're going to go up to the spill level, bring that way to zero as well. And where Matt Tools is at, you're going to want to shrink that. You're going to just kind of play around with that. Depending on where your clip is, if you bring it to the left, it's going to destroy that clip. So you're going to want to bring that to the right. So I'm going to bring mine up a little to blend that in a little. I don't want too much. That'll be bad if I do that. I want this to blend exactly. I'm trying to get rid of as, like the least amount of white as possible. So, um, I mean, this, this isn't perfect, but if I can get rid of that white so it blends in. And then the erode, you can... Fix it with the erode a little bit. So just play around with the, the shrink and expand and the erode and you'll get an effect that you like. So I'm just bringing mine up always to 10 and stuff. So that helps. Your next step is you're going to want to turn on your bottom clip right there. And then you're going to want to select your stars because we're going to bring the Luma keyer all the way over to the stars and put that on them. Once you have your Luma keyer on, I want you to go up to the top, click on your stars. I want you to bring these little dials all the way over at the top until it's completely white. Then we're gonna go to the left of the stars, right there, gotta line that up. Okay, and then we're gonna select that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set a keyframe. So set a keyframe at the beginning of the stars. Then you're gonna bring it all the way over to where you're pretty much where you're satisfied. I mean, you can bring it to the end if you want. It just depends on what you want it to look like. Um, and then go back up to your dials, bring them back in. Once you're completely satisfied with the shot where you want it to line up at with your second keyframe. Okay, let's make this look a little more epic. So go up and get an adjustment layer from Titles. If you don't have one, it's because you haven't purchased a program that has one. So once you have the adjustment layer there, then you can go over and you need to select your clip. Okay, we're gonna basically color correct the clips real quick. Once you've finished color grading, color correcting, and placing your letterbox on top of your adjustment layer, then you should be good to go. It should look pretty good. There's only one last step that I would recommend doing. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna scale your star clip up to 120%, and then go to the beginning, keyframe the beginning of the clip, go to the end of the clip. You're gonna extend your clip outside, just how I have it right here. You're gonna extend it right outside um, if it's normal, like where it normally finishes at, and then you're gonna keyframe right out there. And the way you're going to do this is we're going to drag the clip just down to the right corner just a tad so it stays within the letterbox. Once you've done that, you're going to need to cut off the end of your clip to bring it all the way back. So just drag that right over. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>